I'm back. I know it's been forever again, but you know. Um, so I saw this trend going around and like people copying others makeup looks. So I went live on Instagram. You guys should follow me if you don't already. And I asked you guys and someone said James Charles, but I was like, oh my god. You know, I was looking at Willem's drag queen, but she doesn't really do like full face and stuff. So I decided that I'm going to do a James Charles drag transformation look because it's James Charles and a drag look so it's all in one and yes I'm gonna make fun of him and I can't put the video on the screen because I don't know how to do that and I didn't go in and buy my products because you know your girl's poor so let's get started Hello, Hello, sister James. My hair is not stabbed and poofed up like normal, and why I'm wearing this very fancy wig cap up on my head today. And for today's video, we're going to be doing a drag tutorial. Great. I've always been drawing a few times on my Instagram page, but they've all been looks that I've been super, super proud of. And every time I do post one as well, literally all the comments are, when are you doing a video? When are you filming a video? We want to know how to do this. So for today's video, I sat Let's down do and I'm going to teach you guys how to go from this I'm gonna... to this. I have a ton of you know what? in front of me, and I, honestly enough, most of them are actually part of my everyday makeup routine. Dry makeup doesn't have to be some crazy expensive art. You can totally use the products you have at home, just in a different style that you might not think of. Obviously, I am not a dry queen. You guys know I am a makeup artist, and I definitely cannot mm, perform it talks for so long. But 50% of drag is the whole aesthetic behind it, and it is a very, very cool and beautiful Shister. platform. So without further ado, if you would like to see me transform into a drag queen, and just test out some drag makeup today, make sure you keep on watching. Hi, sisters. Here we go. Okay, so some drag queens have their eyebrows shaded up, but of course I have very, very bushy brows. So our first step today is going to be to cover them up. All you're going to need is a classic Elmer's glue stick, a spoolie, and then a wet towel. I'm basically just taking a glue um, stick okay. So I'm not going to do anything with my eyebrows because A, I don't feel like it, and B, I don't want to. Sorry, I'll do, if you want me to do like an actual drag queen look, then let me know because I'm not. Gonna. I'm going super hard. Hey, to I'm, press not, upwards. I'm not going to do that with my eyebrows because I was. No texture, you can't see the extra glue. Glue is only on the brow. That's just going to interrupt the pull, and then we'll go up down. I'm going to take my powder puff, and I'm going to dip it to quick it into my brows. I'm definitely not going to be worrying about fallout because you can always brush the wet, smooth, and ready to cover face before this foundation. I'm okay. Here we go. So he's using his Born This Way powder, but like I don't have that. So I'm going to be using my Monique Mignon Perfecting foundation and concealer. If anyone's wondering, I'm in the shade 2 Alabaster. Um. He didn't use primer, so I guess I'm not going to use primer. Two-faced one. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go over the brows first, and I'm just going to press that foundation in there. Pretty hard to really fill in all the places, and you see that brow is now Here's the completely after. covered. That's spooky. <laughs> I'm actually going to let this foundation start to set in place and dry down just a little bit before I go into my full face, and while I do that, I'm going to go to my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette, and I'm going to color craft. Just going to grab any normal packing brush and go into this orange shade. I'm going to be making fun of him because I love him and he's everything, and I will link the original video down below. <sighs> Am I even getting this in the right spot? I don't think so. Oh, so he's a full coverage today. This is literally the most horrifying look ever. Next, I'm gonna go to my tart shape tape in the shade light. Ah, I have to blend it. Hold on, he said to do like full coverage, so you know that's what I'm doing. Um, he didn't say what brush he was using, but you know, a beauty blender. So, you know. I'm taking <laughs> my um. Why can't I think of the name? Sorry. My Ulta brush, whatever, and it's the number 115. So we're just going to blend that out, look like this. I'm going to try to keep in, like, mistakes because, A, I don't feel like editing it out, but in B, because it's funnier that way. So there we go. I'm blending it. Remember, you can use code jeans for 10% off on this brush. So, okay, so now he's on concealer, and luckily I use 
sharp, tart shape tape. I'm gonna show you the light medium so let's see what he does. I'm just having my face. Like I said, we are not going for a natural look in any means for today, so I'm definitely gonna be talking a lot of product on today. Now, I have my face for today, so I'm definitely gonna be talking a lot of product on. So he does it in his normal spot, so that's where I'm gonna do it. Look at me. I'm such a beauty guru. Covering all my stuff. Okay. I know a lot of drugs. And then he's blending it with his beauty blender, but since I don't have that, I'm going to use my foundation brush and just blend it in. Okay. Cream like doing a cream contouring for their makeup. For me, cream contouring is just something that I'm not really a fan of, so I am gonna be doing all powder contouring. Cool, because I don't have cream contour. If you want to do cream contouring, now would be the time to do it before we get into powder in the next step. And then once again I'm gonna grab my Cody Crystal powder and a powder puff I don't have that. So I'm gonna start by setting underneath I don't have setting powder, so we're just gonna not do that. Today, and I really want to make sure that the foundation and concealer stay on there and don't wear it off. Same thing when it comes to the eyebrows. I'm going to wear a flat shade because I don't know how to edit that. Ah! Back through. To contour my face today, I'm going to use Shocking by Calvin D. Shade and Light Palette. So, I don't have the Shade and Light Palette. So, I mean, I have two contour stuff, but. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour, and I also have my um, my Smashbox. So I think I'm, I use my Smashbox more because it's easier for me. Because you know I'm a beginner, but so that's what we're gonna do. I usually contour from about here down to the corner of my mouth. But for actual drag makeup, I'm going to contour starting at the top of my sideburn. And then I'm going to go and draw a like more curved line. Kind of ending more up here instead. That's just going to really break my cheekbones and give them more of a feminine appearance. Obviously, there's no exact right way to do drag. You can paint your face however you want. You can contour however you want. And I know there's no exact male or female face shape that we need to follow. I'm just doing it based on the standards that people usually do follow. When it comes to contouring the jawline, similar to the cheekbone, I am going to just like a little bit I don't know how to do that more soft. I'm actually going to chisel up my jawline, starting at the corner here, and kind of rounding this out a little bit. I guess bit, we're just, like, doing it like soft, this. Feminine appearance. When it comes to my nose contour, you sisters already know that I love a good chiseled out, pinched ass nose. Oh. So for today's thing, I'm just going to do the same exact thing, just a little bit okay. more intense. Hold on. Okay, so he's doing his nose, which I don't do, but I think I have a brush for that. So, here we go. We're taking this Profusion brush, and we're just going to contour the nose because, you know, got to follow Sister James. My mirrors are really dirty, by the way. Look at me go. I'm such a makeup artist. And this is harder because most people don't wear glasses, so, like... You know. I'm just doing what he's doing. Did he do it the other side of his face? I don't know. I don't know. Finally to finish off the base, I'm just gonna go to my benefit Hula Bronze and my Morphe M527 brush, and I'm just gonna use this bronzer to kind of blend together the contour and the highlight. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my bronzer shade in here. And then just bronze out my face. He did it like crazy like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Make everything nice and bronzy and connected. So exact thing I'm coating some powder my powder puff one lock. Ah! He's going too fast. I think this is good. Whatever. Doing. Um, okay. So. You guys know that I stopped baking my face. I don't bake because I don't have that. So we're just gonna. I just thought it wasn't really necessary anymore, and I much preferred the more 
Chloe Dewey Foundation look. But when it comes to drag makeup, baking is absolutely necessary. It definitely locks the face in place because well. these queens that are doing this makeup on a nightly basis are going to be performing on stage under a whole lot of lights and dancing and sweating. So it really makes sure all the foundation stays on. And also using the translucent powder intensifies all the highlights that we used with our concealer earlier, which just makes the makeup have a lot more dimension and just look better in general. Okay, Sister James. Alright, so brace yourself because dry brows are by far the most complicated part of dry makeup. And even after doing looks several, several times and being a professional makeup artist, it is still so hard for me to get my brows perfect and special. Okay, so James doing his brows. Using the benefit of brows, and I'm using the shade at number three to match my. Since um James is doing his brows, I guess I will too. Oh. Is this a brow gel? Gel eyeliner. I don't think I have a brow gel, so. Oh well, guess we're not. Look, what my brother did. He ruined my brush. You know, it's okay. So, just kidding, we're not going to do brows because I don't have that. And I'm just going to use any old angle brush, and this is the makeup shine T55. Okay, so I just grabbed a little bit of my angle brush, and I'm just going to start sketching them in. So I'm basically going to start my brow at the bottom of my normal brow. I want my new brow to oh, be this is nine same minutes. starting position as my old one, so therefore they look natural. And I'm just going to draw them a whole lot more arch than my normal everyday brows. And a little bit thinner, too. I'm going to cut a lot of the extra out. Once I have the bottom line of the brow all lined up, I like to then start at the outside and then make it. Once I have those brows all lined and they're pretty much filled up, I like to take once they're all right out, I'm going to go back with my original angle brush with shade cube concealer, once again in the shade of light, and then my Morphe E43 brush and just clean them up. And set my eyelids and get ready for eyeshadow. Oh, we're on eyeshadow. Okay, cool. I can do that. Okay, so now that the brows are all done, you can take a major deep breath because the rest is all smooth sailing from here. So for eyeshadow, like I said, I'll be using the Jaclyn Hill Bill, and I'm going to start... I have that. I have that. I have that. I'll be using my Makeup Shock T4 brush. Well, I don't have that brush, but I have this Morphe brush. So, what shade is it? And dipping into this neutral tone of brown shade right over here, and just let the guess... So, he says a neutral tone of brown, so I'm assuming this one right here... So, here we go. What did he say he's doing right here? So, am I a beauty guru yet? I want to sing on this side. Because, you know, I don't know how to go back. Today, so I'm gonna be oh, just slightly above. great. Okay. I've never done that before. If you guys have followed me for a while, you've probably seen all the job looks that I've done. There really hasn't been many of them in the first place, but I used to do a really, really, really intense style of drawing makeup that really was never flattering to my face. Everyone would always tweet them when I fucking posted them saying it looked like the dragon from Shrek, which, yes. I'll give you that. They definitely did. Okay. I recently just discovered a Brazilian drag queen, however, named Pablo Rotara that Wait. I'm literally obsessed with. He is so great as a musician, so like a true freaking sister. His makeup is very Wait, he just awesome. did another I uh, what? As soon as I saw him, I was so inspired to test this out. And if you guys follow me on Sound, which if you don't, you definitely need to. I tried out this look a few nights ago and everybody was kind of shook over it. I was shook over it. I was so happy how it turned out, so I definitely wanted to film a tutorial for you guys. I'm using a burnt orange shade on a makeup shock T33 brush too. Okay, so he's using like a burnt orange shade. Um I'm guessing this one. Well, you know. I'm still using that Morphe brush because you know your girls is poor. So I'm just going like this. Okay. Okay, so the medium town town brown, I guess it's this one? 
Or this one? I think it's this one. Deepen up the thing, okay? I guess what? I don't have that. So, um, I guess I don't know. Um, we could use like a gold shade, I guess, like this, maybe. On there, I don't know. I'm trying. Yes. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna close my eyes and fan my eyes to let this dry, and we go back into more shadow and lipid liner for a second. I don't want this glitter to transfer anywhere. I don't have glitter. To do my liner today, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, obviously in the shade of black. So basically. Okay, so eyeliner. I have that. I have the Morphe Dark Room Liner. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try really hard because, you know. What did you say about it? We're keeping the same technique as normal, just making it a whole lot bigger and thicker. Ooh. I don't know how to do that. So, I think he goes like this. I don't know how to do eyeliner. Okay. I think this is okay. Um, well. Now the liner's all on and dry, I'm gonna go back with my T33. Okay. Shh. So I'm back with this and then he's gonna do And actually dip into the black shade in the dark the palette and just darken out the outer corners. Okay, he's going in the black, which is right here. Doing the inner corner, so right here, deepening that. I'm letting this black fold into the crease and into the glitter as well. For the lower lash line, I'm going to start off by lighting my waterline using my mix. I don't have that, pencil. so we're not doing that. Okay, I can do that. Just warm tone. And then do the lash line. He said to define the lash line. I'm going to make this kind of more a straight line to create the effect of oh. a new inner corner. Then I'm just going to take my Morphe M433 brush and then I'm just going to use some warm tone orange here and just blend that out. Um, warm tone orange. Maybe this one? Maybe I think that one and then blend it out. Guess what? I don't have eyelashes, so we're not doing that either. Gonna do. If you look closely as well, my lash in the inner corner is glued down to the inner corner. As it goes out to the outer lash line, my lash is actually glued nowhere near my lash line. <gasps> oh, I can have glitter. Never mind. This looks pretty weird close up, and you definitely don't have to move by any means. But from far away, gluing the lashes up more just helps lift the entire face and really gives you like a snatch look that just looks so, so good. Like I said, I'm just going to take my roll of lash mascara and just dip it in. Guess what? I don't have mascara either, so. I'm going to regular lashes with these huge ass fake ones. 
Yay. Uh, she's just going to make sure the ones in the outer corners are very colored and nice and black so they blend into the liner and the lashes because if there's any powder on them, like you can see it right now, that Anastasia is so Hollywood illuminator. And my okay, well, I don't have, I don't have that, so I'm going to take this brush, right, on this one, I think, this, um, brush from, I don't remember, and then take this contour kit that my friend made for Profusion, and then use, um, this, hold on, this gold shade right here, and then highlight. Oh, James Charles is shaking. My look is so good. Oh, yes, Daddy. Oh. I like the nose. You definitely want to be very, very careful when highlighting as well because a nose contour highlight can definitely make or break a dry look, and you definitely want to be super stylish as possible. So, I'm also going to grab a flat top brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone today. Now, this is your first time doing dry. I definitely would not recommend doing this because highlighting oh. obviously us. Uh, Just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Up. And if this is your first time covering brows, unless you are a miracle worker, because your nose should be a whole lot of practice. They might look a little bit textured for the first time. It just takes a whole lot of practice, but once you get really good at covering your brows and they're nice and flat, like this one is, even this one's a little bit wonky, but this one's nice and flat. See how that brow highlight just looks so good? Yes. For my lips today, I'm going to start off with the MAC lip pencil. Okay, I know. And just overline my okay. I don't have a lip pencil, so whatever. Super, super over accentuated in this big and beautiful in general. So, I'm next thing with the Opera Sao Paulo with the lipstick and just fill everything in. Okay, let's see. Um, I have this one, I guess, which is kind of equivalent to it. I'm just gonna do that. Don't have that either, so I'm gonna move on. Okay, let me see my face. Wow. I look really good. James Charles is shaking. Um well this is thanks for watching the video. Yikes, this is um interesting. Please like and comment and share and follow me on my social medias because you know I'm I don't even know, I can't even look at myself seriously. Um so follow me on my social medias because why not? I'm pretty cool and then we can be friends. So thank you for watching me trying to do this look. I'm gonna tag the James Charles video um below. So thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye.